So what we're trying to do is to find alternative ways to uh, treat uh, wastewater generated in, in the state. We know that uh, wastewater uh, is a huge issue. There are environmental uh, issues. Also, the uh, water uh, availability is, a, uh, is an important uh, factor for our approach to this project. There is no um, reason to use uh, uh, regular water or fresh water because microalgae are able to grow in uh, uh, wastewater and this is an advantage because uh, uh, microalgae can be used to, uh, for, for the treatment of the, the wastewater. While they are growing, they absorb waste water, uh, the contaminant from the wastewater and they use this contaminant like nutrient to build the biomass. So far we have been screening uh, all the strains to see the first could they grow in animal wastewater or frac water and then uh, we look at how fast or how efficient they grow and then uh, the, the last thing is we look at the characteristics of the biomass produced so that we can convert that biomass to higher value products. The metabolism of microalgae uh, is very similar to the vegetable cells but uh, microalgae can grow faster. So in a reduced uh, time, they can double the biomass, they can produce biomass, and uh, um, they can do also uh, in uh, uh, a wide range of uh, um, hard conditions. My microalgae cells have the ability to adapt a wide range of hard conditions like uh, carbon dioxide concentration, pH, salt concentration, nutrient level, so they can adapt better than what the um, vegetable cell can do. My ultimate goal is to clean up the wastewater to a level that it can be recycled or reused. This water, clean water, can be used for irrigation. We know that uh, uh, growing cro uh, crops takes a lot of water. So instead of using, again, fresh water, we could clean up the wastewater and then reuse this water for irrigation purposes. <laughs>